<laughs> Thanks, Ed. Okay. Well, tonight, growing concern about some popular antibiotics. They are prescribed for everything from earaches to life-threatening bacterial infections. But as health specialist Kathy Walsh learned, some patients say those drugs are making them sicker. I've been doing this about four and a half years. At his dining room table, family watching, Michael Cafferly slowly injects a powerful antioxidant. Just like Popeye, I say this is my spinach. It makes me better. For Michael, better is hard to come by. So I have a burning pain, uh, a numb, tingly pain. I have a ripping pain, especially in my heart. He traces it back to September 2008 when he took the antibiotic Leviquin for a cough. After the first pill, I noticed um, that I wasn't able to follow conversations with coworkers. I woke up on October 6, 2008, and I couldn't feel my legs. Michael says this video was taken during the 18 months he was bedridden. It's The former IT specialist can't work anymore. The once athletic dad dropped 60 pounds. All I wanted to do was go hold my little boy before I died and let him know who I was. Michael's case is extreme, but thousands of patients have reported adverse reactions to Leviquin of a popular class of antibiotics called fluoroquinolones. It felt like a bomb hattie. In 2011, Lisa Bloomquist took the fluoroquinolone ciprofloxacin. She says she developed vision problems, memory loss, and painful joints. I'm going to the gym every day to barely being able to walk. Lisa says she's mostly recovered. She manages the fluoroquinolone wall of pain. People's lives are being destroyed by these drugs, and it's not okay. Fluoroquinolones have a black box warning from the FDA for tendon damage and nerve damage, possibly permanent. Up to 23 million prescriptions are filled in a year. Some experts say inappropriately. And we're talking about going to a physician's office, having a little bit of sniffle, walking out with an antibiotic, and then shortly thereafter having these kind of problems. Dr. Charles Bennett is one of the leading watchdogs for prescription drugs. He wants the FDA to expand the warning to include mitochondrial toxicity, meaning damage can occur within a patient's cells and possibly sins, Alzheimer's or ALS. Yeah. Michael Cafferly asked so he fights for a future. But I wake up every day knowing I'm somebody's father. Let this thing kill me. Kathy Walsh, CBS4 News.